Kanish Girl guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And I know what you're thinking. Two videos in a row? Is this guy insane? Oh my god, it's two in a row. Yeah, I know, okay? Guys, two videos in a row. I just enjoy it. Just embrace it, because it doesn't always happen with me, because I'm so inconsistent. But in the words of Kelly Clarkson, since I've been gone, well, I mean, it's since you've been gone, but you know what? It fits. If the shoe fits, use it. I mean, since I've been gone, I'm going back to all the raid weapons and stuff. Obviously, I missed. And the one we're going to be doing today is going to be the Reckless Oracle. Now, this is the auto rifle from the raid, but what's nice about this is that it's a 720 RPM, which is a bit of a niche area. It is energy, it is a void weapon, and it does have some random rolls. So, without further ado, let me go in and show you what it's got. Reckless Oracle. Knowing how it ends isn't the same as wanting it to be over. Rakana Warlock of the Kentrak Tree. It's a pretty nice, it's actually a drum auto rifle, which is so, I think it's the first drum auto rifle we've had. I think from my knowledge of Destiny 2, it's the first one we've gotten. And it looks pretty sweet. We will see if we can put a shader on it. The colors like, oh, 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 I mean, oh, oh, we went too far. No, that's the wrong weapon. I mean, come, come on, just come on. look how beautiful, look how beautiful and pristine and clean. If only the color of these changed to like red or something. Oh my god. But in terms of rolls and everything, this is an RPM 720, as I said. So you will have rapid fire frames, the intrinsic, deeper ammo reserves, slightly faster reload when magazine is empty. Now, the really interesting thing about the rapid fire frame is that this is energy, but it's not in the vest sort of like categories and stuff. It's sort of like misfit. For the barrel, we have chambered compensator, which increases stability, controls recoil, and slightly decreases my handling speed. Or it could go for corkscrew rifling, constraints, stability, increased handling speed. We can go for extended mag, which will greatly increase my magazine size, but will greatly also decrease my reload speed. Or we could go for light mag, which improves reload and range, increased reload speed, and slightly increased range. For the daddy traits, we're going to have outlaw, which is super good on auto with a magazine size and a battery. That's why you could stick on the extended barrel, but I want my range. And we got Swashbuckler as a trade at the end, which basically, when I get a melee kill, this stacks to five, and every other kill stacks by one, which increases damage on each stack. And last but not least, I actually have Masterwork, which is a stability masterwork, pretty crappy and stuff. In terms of rolls, you will see on the screen right now, the rolls you can't get for this. There is some interesting ones. You probably want, like, high quality rounds here and stuff. Outlaw is probably one of the best here. Maybe if you want to go for something like um, auto-loading. Swashbuckler as well, though. It's actually one of the better ones. You can get Demolitionist, which is really cool, and auto. And also, you can get Kill Clip. I think the Swashbuckler, though, is a pretty uh, sweet-ass perk for me to get. But there's no point in just looking at it because it looks so pretty. We're going to have to go into PvP with it. So without further ado, let's go into some PC PvP with the Reckless Oracle. Alrighty, so we're gonna be on Meltdown with the Reckless Oracle. Here is what it's gonna look like. Oh, that looks pretty damn sweet. I mean, it does... <laughs> the callus might ruin the sort of, like, shader at the bottom of it, like the strings and stuff. But this is what its aim is gonna be like. Oh, that's beautiful. That is really beautiful. If you don't like the aim, though, tough titties, because you do not get a different choice of aim and everything. We'll throw that up there. And this guy's a... That guy was meant to be some... Oh, that was just... That was a calamity of errors right there. That that did not go as I expected. In my head, I killed like five people there. What happened is I died, killed myself, basically. But the Reckless Oracle, it's a pretty sweet aim. Which if you don't like it, of course, you can't change or anything like that. But this, this should smack pretty hard. I mean, 17 damage at 720 RPM. That ain't bad at all. The thing about this weapon is that it's going to fire super fast, of course. It's rapid fire frame and everything. So, like, I mean, it's in the name of the intrinsic. This guy just has a sniper and he's just chilling back here. Come on, peek, peek something. Stop being a woman. Do it, do it, do it. There we go, run away. <gasps> oh, what? He's gonna get away? Are you serious? Oh my God. Okay, round two, buddy. Round freaking two. With this guy over here. Oh my God, he's so... My God, the range sometimes. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> that is why a lot of people would say when you're using this sort of weapon, you want to be going for a sort of range sort of perks. Uh, come on, some more weak, some more weak, some more weak, some more weak, some more weak. Come on, come here. Come here, son of a bitch, come on. There we go. Okay, we got the wreck, or we got the thing by five. Woo! Oh my god. Oh my god, is this recluse? Oh my god, look at the strand. What is going on? Oh my god. And a beloved shutdown, but oh my god, when this gets swashbuckler. Holy Jesus, is DPS going in? Oh my, this is a faster time to kill than the other recluse. That's some crazy damage, look at that. I mean, obviously we don't have it right now, and we're gonna shred this guy, thank god. Oh my outlaw swashbuckler. This this is this is beauty incarnate. This is art. this is an art. I mean, I swear this is a freaking art form right now. That guy's dead, thank god. But man, reckless oracle. When you get the swashbuckler by five, 25 damage per dome. That's insane. This is gonna be better once recluse gets nerfed. I mean obviously they're different archetypes and different types of weapons and stuff and different sort of ways to proc perks. 
but just getting a melee kill. Because I'm using this sort of, uh, I'm using this sort of uh, build as well. I'm using Sentinel Shield who gets the overshield. I can pretty much just go like this. Come here. There we go. We get an overshield and we get just absolute incarnate damage. <laughs> oh, guys, this this is this is a new sort of beast altogether. That guy is super far away. Look at him though. I am firing everywhere. Come on, I know you want it. There we go. Outlaw swashbuckler boys. Oh my god, this thing's insane. I got a 60 bullets with damage and it's already called. I mean, we got one super. Uh, this should add multi-kill clip by two if this guy would actually peek me or something. He's not going to though because the game is over. Yeah, this is what happens apparently when you use the reckless oracle. You just smack some ass. Oh my god, I was not expecting this. 19 kills, 4.75 efficiency. Obviously, we would have got more if the game kept going. All right, all right, all right. We're going into some PvE. I know we're not doing another like PvP game and stuff. We only got a small event, like 19 kills. But I don't think I'm going to get peak performance. Like getting that triple kill where we had uh, the uh, Frost Booker by five going. I mean, that just... That shit smacks. I mean, this just absolutely melts and everything. This will be a bit different, of course. This will probably be more of a general place where it's gonna destroy even more. I will say, though, I, when I was, like, creaming over getting so many kills with the Smashbuckler by 5, I was talking about Recluse. So, Recluse is 900 RPM. At least you forget. So, of course, uh, when it comes to that sort of stuff, it's not gonna be, obviously, better time to kill. But it depends. When the nerf comes into Recluse, it depends what the precision damage is gonna be like. But... We are in here with this right now, 720 RPM, swashbuckler by 5. And if you, can, if you haven't realized, I'm getting shredded by a thing. But you haven't realized, look at my magazine count. It's 69. <laughs> you, 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 69 bullets in a mag. That's pretty crazy. What I did was I stuck extended mag on. I put a, ca or a backup mag on as a mod. And you get 69 bullets in a 720 RPM but in a machine. And you can get swashbuckler going for one punch. You just shred for days. I mean, if you think about it, this is like when we have, what's it, the um, the Sweet Business. Sweet Business gets, what, 100 bullets? Or what is it, 199 now? But it gets a ton of bullets. This gets like the same amount, and it's going to 720 RPM the whole time. Of course, Sweet Business rolls up to like, what, 900 RPM or something? But we can get Swashbucker going just for getting a kill like that, and we'll shred some other things. Where did the ogre just go to? What the hell? Oh, there he is. Hey, little buddy. We'll have to res this guy, and there's the kill. I just think it's just, it's such an ad clear. It's just, if I could hit shots, this thing is a massively good ad clear. You can just keep on spraying. When you get the swashbuckler going, you're doing a ton of extra damage and everything. It's just all around a great gun. We actually hit him and he's super weak. There we go. Okay, we're going into round two just to showcase it a bit more in PvE because I feel like swashbuckler is great and everything in the PvP, of course, the damage we're getting, but I think in PvE, it's easier to proc all the time and it's a bit more effective in terms of, look at the magazine size I have like going on right now. In PvP, you probably wouldn't need this big magazine size. Like, it's not a bad thing to have or anything. But you probably don't need it, especially because I have the L outlaw on. So, when I do get a dome ski, I will get it to proc, like, to get my reload back. So, realistically, for PvP, you don't need to massive magazine size. But big magazine size ain't a bad option either. I mean, just look at the shred we're able to get as well. I mean, I think Swashbuckler, though, just because of the magazine size count and how easy it is to proc, it's sort of like a mini rampage as well. Like, if you don't get melee kill to get it by five. You can sort of get it to keep on procking up with like killing ads to get five by yourself. I think that's the best thing about it. That's a guy who's kind of coming in with hammerhead. I mean, you literally just can't go wrong with this. It just got it's just got so much like good benefits and uses. If this guy could stop dodging me, what the hell? Okay, swashbuckler by five. We're getting invaded. He is top left. Where the hell is this guy? Oh, there he is. There. Hey, little buddy. We had swashbuckler by five. This guy is gonna run. Oh my god, he's actually spraying at me. Look, I don't even have to reload though. <laughs> I didn't reload once that whole engagement, and we actually got him as well. That is the beauty of a 70 sized mag. Oh my god, man. Drum magazines. Please give me some more. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's the only one in Destiny 2. I've never been this impressed with a weapon though, like in so long. I don't know what the last time I've been like super, super impressed by a weapon, like even an auto rifle in general. Auto rifles, as I said, they used to be terrible. But now, we're like, look at this, like, absolute shred. We get the outlaw going. I am just deleting mobs freaking everywhere. We got Killmonger, like, just there. We're just absolutely shredding everything. We'll just punch this guy. Oh, I didn't get it going. But defensive strike as well, because I'm using this bottom tree star, or top tree uh, sentinel. I can get defensive strike, which gives me extra reload and stuff when I get a melee kill. I mean, it's just, I've got so much stuff going with this roll. It's, it's pretty crazy. Alrighty, so this time we're going to be on console and you go get this flag issue. We're going to be on console though with the Reckless Oracle. I feel like it should be good here. The thing about P console is though that like, look at that recall. Oh my god, is a reticle meant to bounce like that? It's like it's playing tennis or it's like Pong in the middle of it. It's like a Pong. 
Whoa, that was quick. It's like a pong game though right there. Like, I mean, that's just, that's some nasty recall. I might, I'm gonna have to stick on the training wheels, I think. I may, oh. What? Where was, oh crap, I don't know this map. We're gonna have to stick on the training wheels though. We're gonna stick on the counterbalance mod, okay? If this game will load me in, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Haste makes waste, haste makes waste. No, it doesn't. Haste makes good stuff in this section, in this context. Okay, we got a counterbalance mod on there, so we should be getting a bit of less recall. I mean, <laughs> it, I have to do it. I mean, oh, okay, this guy's here. Look, I didn't get the melee kill. No, oh, now I get it, now I get it, now I get it. Come here, give me that, give me that. I need swashbuckler by five. Come on, someone, someone, peek it, touch, come on. Damn it, I was too weak. Oh my god, I need to get the swashbuckler by five though. That's where it's gonna start to shred. Like this thing, even without it, it does shred. I'm not gonna lie. Like even on like on console, this should be pretty sweet as well. It's just like it's super accurate. Like look at that shred we got in him. You get outlaw go, and this guy knows I'm super weak, but I can see him because I got a highlighting scope. I didn't even know that was a feature. But man, we are shredding people. Whoop, 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 whoop. Look at the shred. He was in a rift. He's gonna go up here. Oh, he's got some sort of thing. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. How can you not like this? We're shredding. The counterbalance mod, though. That, you, you, <laughs> that's a freaking must, I think, right now. Oh, my God. Peace out. We hit him. Oh, we didn't even hit him. We didn't even hit him. My God. But the counterbalance mod is probably a must for console. Like, I usually don't, like, I don't put on every weapon when I go on console, but it does help out a lot. You can see once it's on, I started, like, absolutely shredding. Unless you're, like, really, like, post, uh, really good with your aim and stuff, of course, it's fine. We need a dodge roll away. No, 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 no. What the hell? He just came around the corner and just like long ironed me. What the hell was that? I will say though, when it comes to perks and everything like that, you're probably not better off, but it would probably be really, really handy if you put on like, uh, if you got high caliber rounds in the middle. I think high caliber rounds, just on console anyway, it just helps it so much because you reduce your recoil in terms of put a counterbalance mod on. And then you make that recoil go into freaking oblivion by having higher caliber rounds. Especially because the magazine size on this is pretty massive. I mean, it's 50 bullets. Oh, uh, we got a power play going though. Let's, uh, we need to get swashbuckler by fire though. That's probably going to be the best thing to do. I'm actually going to pop super because I got it. Let's go, let's go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's go. Hey, buddy. I mean, okay, he missed that punch. I say he's super annoyed. I didn't even hit this guy. What the hell? Hey, buddy. I mean, come here, come here, come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. But I still need to get the swashbuckler going though. It is, I, I do feel like swashbuckler on, uh, when you're playing on console, it's just, it's a bit harder to get because, mainly because it's kind of slow to like just rush and get like, stab someone in the face. It's also just that hit detection for me anyway on console sucks sometimes. I got suppressed, so I'm right now sort of depressed and you just cleared them all out. Oh man, you know what? We're halfway through the game. Still no swashbuckler by five. I just can't get a melee kill with this build. I, I'm literally the guy who, who's, built for getting melee kills, I'm pretty sure, in terms of, I get health regen when I use it. And I just can't get one. We're gonna just run at this guy. Come here. No, he grenaded me like I grenaded him. I'm gonna get one. I will get Swashbuckler. By the end of this video, I will have Swashbuckler by five at least once. I wanna achieve the peak that I achieved back in Meltdown when I, oh, 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 no, no. Oh, no, I got it by five. I was suppressed. I couldn't dodge roll. Judging by just the gun itself before people are like, oh, you always thought you're trying to try to get a melee kill. The gun itself actually does smack. I will say it smacks pretty damn hard. Even on console, it is smacking. I mean, I'm not getting multiple headshots, but look at that guy. He's super weak. And he's just about dead in like two seconds. There he goes. I should have probably knifed him. What am I doing with my life? We'll get this guy though. We reload. And melt. Quick, quick, quick. Someone, someone help a man out. Help a brother out. Help a brother out right now. Oh my god, we need to punch this guy. We need to punch this guy. Swashbuckler by five. Come on. Where are you? Where did where the posse at? Where the posse at? Come here. Whoop. And we didn't get him. But we have combination blow, if that helps anything. No. No. Does not help. Uh, we need a well. Oh, we need to wait for a health regen. No. Get him before he runs. Get him. Get him. Get him. Whoop. Oh, oh. I didn't get away. I didn't get away, but I got a kill. <laughs> I'll take, take what you can get. Give nothing back in the old pirate code. Oh my god. Really game, really. Oh, oh, oh. If I died there, that would have been some absolute bull on Bungie's part. Don't worry, buddy. I got your back. Got your back, Jack. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on, punch. Put, punch, 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 punch. There we go. By five, by five. Shred, shred, shred. Oh, my God. Just when you get it going, man, it just absolutely melts. Oh, my God. This guy is weakish. Push. Oh, he pushed. 
damn it, he has all freaking wormos as well. I thought the grenade would hit him, but man, you see the shred? It just starts going in. I d it doesn't last, of course, as long as Master of Arms because when you're recluse and stuff, recluse keeps on procking it back and back, or like back to front, so it's like a train. But this is pretty sweet and stuff. Like, look at this. We just get a melee kill. And that's going to be me dead because of wise and behind me. Weapons. Get rid of this. We can get rid of it because it's a shield. <laughs> we have so much ammo. Oh, there is the beauty of a 50 drum freaking mag. I mean, drum mags are my jam, boys. If you never heard that, drum mags are my jam. That is an enemy. Oh, we, oh my god. It's so close. So close, boys. Someone use a super. Oh, Hadaloy, you better go in. Two supers going in. Come on. That's what I like to see, boys. That is how I like to see it. That is a great ending. Victory. I will say, if you're any good on console, like, I I'm, I suck. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not using console that much. But this thing kicks. Or this thing kicks some ass. This smacks. 33 opponents defeated. 1.74. We died a lot because it's going for melees. But this thing clops some cheeks. This is an insane auto. Outlaw. A swashbuckler is an insane combo. Well, that's it from me and the Reckless Oracle Auto Rifle. Honestly, this thing is insane. It's definitely worth going in for it. I mean, I haven't been this, like, I don't know, hyped about a weapon since I don't know when. It's been a while since I've really enjoyed using a weapon or an auto rifle like this. If I break it down in terms of PC uh, PC PvP, I will say this thing kicks ass. You can see when you get the train going or you get Swashbuckler going, you do shred. Now, of course, it's nothing like Recluse in terms of um, keeping the train going because Recluse constantly procs itself. And this... I, 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 as I said, I got it caught in the heat of the moment. I might have said Recluse, like, this is a better TTK than Recluse. It's not because Recluse is 900 RPM. But when the nerf comes into Recluse, this could actually be, become just as good in terms of it goes super far. It does 25 per precision damage shots per headshot, which when Recluse gets nerfed, it's going to be, I assume it's going to go down to, like, 22-ish or something like that. So this might be a bit of a quicker time to kill with stack of five. Who knows? But as I said, it doesn't chain as well. But when it comes to this in PC, it just... It's super steady, so you can go for your max range builds, go for your high caliber rounds, so it's super steady. It absolutely claps asses. I mean, this thing, it melts. PvE, this thing was insane again. I mean, it's a drum mag. So I had 70, well, 69 bullets going around in PvE with Swashbuckler. I mean, I get punch something, 70 bullets to spray people. Punch something again, another, like, what, 70 bullets. Because I have Outlaw as well, it's really super quick to reload it. it like, it's just so good PvE as well. It's definitely, it's, maybe it's just a combination. But I could get up to 70 bullets. I think it's the magazine size that makes it for me. Because the trolls, I don't know what hit them. Swashbuckler is super good for PvE. And overall, it's just insane PvE just for destroying mobs. And last but not least is console PvP, which is thought it would probably be the best. And it actually is really good. I mean, autos on console, they do kick. I'm not gonna lie, everything kicks on console. <laughs> There's two different games. PC and P or console are like completely different in terms of recoil and stuff. The recoil on this is... It's a tricky one because it's such a high RPM. The reticle, it just, it goes into oblivion. As I said, it's like it's playing tennis with itself. It goes everywhere. If you are skilled enough with the game, so where you play a lot of console, of course, you will recognize where that reticle really is. I think it's more just an animation you got to get used to. If you are like me, though, and don't really want to deal with that, you want to get those stability mods and stuff. You want to probably get, probably steady, or not steady range, you probably want to get more stability out of one of these. I probably could have actually stuck on this just for a bit of extra. But overall, on console, I think this thing smacks again. Honestly, this is probably the best auto rifle I've used. I since like well I used Blue Perfect I thought that was great this is even better I think this is the best auto rifle in the game right now for me anyway just in terms of what you can do in terms of swashbuckler it's rate of fire it's speed it's everything about it it's feeling it's it's probably the magazine size it's probably the best weapon for me best auto rifle in the game for me right now for both PVE and PVP but regardless if you like the video trust like and if you want to see more content subscribe and fantastic day and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.